is duly elected as councillor for the said division. Blue was the colour. In Essex, Teesside, Derbyshire, Lancashire, South, East, West and North. Even in Glasgow, where in some parts the Tories went out with the ARC. The Conservative Party candidate is duly elected as mayor. And in the marginal Midlands, a big win. The area's first ever Metro mayor wearing a Tory rosette. This is May's Day. This is not about who wins and who loses in the local elections. It is about continuing to fight for the best Brexit deal for families and businesses across the United Kingdom. Are you still seriously maintaining today that you are not looking at a victory and sweeping back into number 10, potentially with a very large majority? I'm not taking anything for granted. I will be going out for the remaining weeks of this general election campaign to earn the support of the British people. And it's Labour that's suffering. Red spilt in Western Bartonshire, Northumberland, Nottinghamshire. Seats disappearing in almost every corner. A very bad night for Labour. Thank you so much for coming. Mr Corbyn needs a lot more than a brave face. Uh, just this way, Mr Corbyn. I declare that Andy Burnham is duly elected as the Mayor of the Greater Manchester Combined Authority. Old faces, but new Labour mayors in Manchester and Liverpool give them something to cheer. But one senior party figure told me the results were catastrophic. The leader will hardly admit that. We have had very disappointing results in other parts of the country. Yes, we have to go out there in the next four weeks and get a message out. Yet with only weeks till the general election, candidates who want to stay on as Labour MPs are already pointing the finger. It's a pretty disastrous picture. Uh, it's simply not good enough for a party that's been in opposition for seven years, that's heading towards a general election in five weeks, uh, to not be picking up seats and not making forward progress. A symbol of the party's decline, a totem, Labour lost control of Glasgow's city chambers to the SNP. They failed to win there outright, but they're the biggest party by far. Yet the emerging pattern in Scotland? A Tory comeback. So this is a clear and emphatic victory for the SNP. It means we've got councillors and council groups across the country able to protect local services. But it's also a great launch pad for the general election. In Wales, Labour lost more than 100 seats that held Cardiff and held back some of the worst. But the Tories and Plyde nibbling away some of their support. Defending Wales is what Plaid Cymru is all about. Labour are in no position to do that. They've had a majority of MPs in Wales for decades and they failed to put Wales on the map. But it was UKIP that had the worst crash from their heights. Their scorecard nearly zero. Brexit seeming to challenge their very reason for being. We've won the war, but we haven't yet won the peace. And I would say this, that we need UKIP to be there we need UKIP to be strong. UKIP is the insurance policy in case Brexit doesn't get delivered. And yes, this is sometimes how seats are decided. <laughs> A vote so close, candidates draw straws. Here, a Lib Dem had the lucky choice in what, overall, that party described as a patchy performance. Political speak for not that much to be proud of, nor disaster instead. The Liberal Democrats are now your best route to prevent our country and our communities being taken for granted by a Conservative landslide. <laughs> Not much sign of the Greens becoming a significant force, gaining some small new footholds, but losing others along the way. Yet in a patchwork of results, there was one big winner on her party's first big day out with her in charge. Of course, this is not the general election. Today's results may not translate directly into what happens next month. But after today, Theresa May has plenty to be confident about. Yet there'll be no let up. She and the rest will be straight back out on the trail. Laura Kunzberg, BBC News, Westminster.